Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more Subnautica. Uh, today, I am... Um, we're going to go to the radiation zone. And we're not going to lose health because I noticed something quite peculiar. Uh, now, I did move all my stuff. I uh, got my ores chest right here. And got my miscellaneous chest, uh, which I'll chuck this dead battery in. Um, now, I do know that there is some way to recharge these batteries. So I'm going to keep them instead of just tossing them away. Uh, that way we can recharge them later on. Now, I saw something in the crafting thing, and it makes me really glad that we already had lead. I uh, went out and grabbed some creeper vines, because if we go to equipment, radiation suit. It, it, it didn't occur to me before, but we had a radiation suit already in the game. Well, not in the game, but in our, like, crafting thing, right? So now all this is equipped, uh, radiation gloves, radiation, this, the actual suit, and the radiation helmet. Um, so this will all help us go to the radiation. Now, I did go back to the um, the life pod that's closest to us. Uh, the one where we found, like the first one that we found. Um, and I did see this, because I noticed that there was a, like a data log thing in the other one we went to last episode. So I went back, uh, checked it out, and indeed there was. Uh, so there's another one of these. <clears throat> life pod. Pod made planet fall intact approximately one hour ago. Environmental instruments were knocked offline. With my face pressed to the glass, I can make out shadows shifting about in the water below me. Every so often, the pod is rocked by some kind of collision. I cannot tell whether the pod is bumping up against the rocks or if there is something out there that's trying to get in. Either way, the hull is beginning to buckle. I can see what's left of the aurora from the top hatch. We were carrying any th wait what we were carrying anything and everything we might need to complete the phase gate the all-terrain vehicle thermal reactors propulsion cannons i'm going to go out there and scavenge whatever i can find see if i can re reinforce the life pod hull or some okay so now that we've got that uh i did go out and get some more copper uh to get some more batteries uh, so now we have more batteries. So what I'm going to do now is go back over here. Because uh, we're going to go to that life pod today. Uh, we're going to check out the first life pod a little bit more. Uh, just because we can survive a bit better. Um, and firstly, I'm going to grab some health. I uh, probably should have stocked up on it a bit more. But I don't think we're going to need help that much. Um, and what's in our inventory at the moment? Just nothing but the essentials. Oh, we've got another... This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Over? Yeah, we do read. Still nothing. These old terror ships. They run out of engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help. They don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. See what the long-range scan picks up in the meantime? Damn charter's going to have us wasting our profit margin running errands for Altera. Cool. Okay. Let's grab this first aid kit. I don't think there's any more first aid in there. No. Uh, that battery is empty. I need to remember to keep it that and come back for that. I didn't bother about moving any of this stuff. Um, just because it's not stuff that we desperately need. Um, these creature eggs... They're undefined, but I think we can put these in the aquarium that's in the builder, if I show you that. Uh, there's an aquarium. Uh, it says self-sustaining aquatic habitat. So I'm assuming we can put the eggs in there and then they'll hatch and I, I don't know. That's something for another episode guys. Uh, but we're going to put the habitat builder in there. Uh, keep the scanner and the flashlight and everything else is a necessity. So let's get moving. Let's grab this and dodge that guy. Now I have turned the light off of this thing. Um, just because I don't want it to use up any more energy than it needs to. Um, and we'll just skim across the surface. Uh, try not to go too deep. It looks... 
like it's getting night time. Uh, which is unfortunate. Holy fuck, what are those? Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Oh, and it's really dark as well. Oh, I'm terrified. Oh, that's scary. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, okay, it is, it is getting night time. I'm, I'm actually terrified. So, I'm gonna go back to the, <laughs> the life pod. Um, I'm gonna wait until daytime. And then we can head out that way. Um, that actually shook me a little bit. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Yeah, the sun is setting. No shit. Alright, guys. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, God. Okay. We're gonna wait until daytime. Then we're gonna head over there. <laughs> that way underwater isn't as spooky. Alright, I'll, I'll see you guys when it's daytime. Alrighty, guys. We are back again. Uh, here's some more beeping. That normally means that... This is done. Yes, okay. So, more first aid. I'm still terrified, but uh, it's a lot lighter now, so hopefully we'll be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm still still scared because uh, it was very very dark. Oh. Oh, those things are still there. Oh. Um, what are these? What are these? What are those? No idea. Those things are shooting shit off. That'll be dangerous. Let's, um, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. This is Life Pod 7. Uh, this is kind of what we saw before. Nothing's different, except for those fucking huge things out there. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any... Ah, over here. Okay. So. Alright. Let's go up to the surface. I really hope these guys will not hurt me in any way. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're fine. Let's jump up, get some air. Oh, shit, that was high. Alright, uh, let's go straight back down. Those things freak me out. Oh, boy. Like you would not believe. All right, so let's see what we can scan. Uh, now that depth meter is getting yellow, so I'm assuming we can't go much deeper. Bar table. Um, yeah, so I'm assuming we can't go much deeper without the rebreather that we can make. Yeah, I know I can make a bar table now. Uh, these things are normally loaded with research stuff. Usually. Metal salvage. Let's pop back up to the top. Oh, we have another thingamabob. Right up to the top, get some air. Get some more air. And let's go back down. Alrighty. Let's grab our scanner back up. Uh, any more researchy things that would be lovely. Wow. For a huge wreck like this, you'd think there'd be more research. Hmm. Maybe there's some more over here. What is that? Mm, that looks like a bin. Coffee vending machine. Alright. Metal salvage. No research. Metal salvage. No research. No research. No research. Hmm, interesting. Okay, and we're gonna have to go back up. Right, let's shoot back up to the top. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, it's a very, very long way. Jeez. Alright, and we shoot up huge amounts. Okay, so these things look like they're harmless. Yeah, they're harmless. 
Oh, they have... <gasps> they have air bubbles. Okay, can we scan you? The reef back. Alright, let's scan this. Scan, 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 scan. The reef back. Sweet! That's awesome. Wait, can we just... Oh, you know it would be cool? If we could build like a base on one of these things. That would be sweet. Alright, let's continue on this way. Ah, oh, the power's gone. LOL. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I was like, why are we going so slow? That looks like there's more land here and some frame drops. There's a life pod here. Cool, 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 cool. Is this life pod upside down? This life pod is upside down. Lol. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to go in it from upside down. Can we go in it? Um, ah, here. Oh, uh, let me in, please. Back to the first aid kit. All of this infected water. Hmm, okay. Well, this thing is gone. Ah, okay, research. Maybe. If we're lucky. Three. Oh, vehicle upgrade frag console fragment. Okay. Awesome. And what is this? Power transmitter. What is this? Vehicle upgrade console. So this is where all the research is. Power transmitter, I think we have that. Yeah, so we get the titanium. Um, is there more in this thing? Oh, there's another research thing. Yes, what is this? Propulsion cannon fragment. Alrighty. Let's grab more of this research. Thankfully, we're kind of close to the surface. Again, it's all fragment. Now, I'd love to get the, um... The sea moth fragment. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the sea moth is kind of like a... Kind of like a car. Um, that's one of the simplest ways to put it. Uh, for the water. So, this dude's probably going to be a bitch. He comes back. Three. What is this? Open supply crate. Oh, power cell. Nice. Supply crate. Med kit. Nice. Another med kit. Disinfected water. Don't need that. There's another one. Power cell. Awesome. Doesn't look like there's much more research. Um, oh, what was it? There it was. Propulsion cannon. Almost missed it. Can we make that now? Oh, we can. Oh, there's so much research around here, guys. This is crazy. Quickly hurry up over here. Ah, there's our propulsion one. Supply crate. Med kit. Don't need that. thing looks it, it sounds this game sounds so spooky at times I'm not kidding all right so let's jump back to the top and grab some air oh. it's all right now let's jump down here let's see if there's anything to grab yep looks like it nope doesn't look like it looks like it yes I'll grab that um, is that all the research? No, nope, there's one more here, and that looks like a propulsion cannon. It's definitely a propulsion cannon fragment, but we do not need. Alright guys, it looks like all the research has been gotted. Uh, let's jet back. Hopefully we have enough power to get back. Um, I'll spare the trouble and make a cut here. Um, and I'll bring you back when we get to the base. 
See you guys then. Alrighty guys, back at the base. Let's jump on in. Let's put our stuff away and let's have a look at what we got. Okay, so we got a whole lot of med kits to put these away. I accidentally used one. Battery that's on 0%. Our cells can go away. They're fully charged, that's awesome. Disinfected water. Oh, now we have a coffee machine. So I wonder if we can actually play... Oh, we can. Okay, cool. Let's place it there. That's cool. Just a little aesthetic thing. I love that. Alright, so we've got some titanium that we can put away. Awesome. So that's this chest completely full. What's the quartz doing in there? Quartz goes in this chest. Alright, now it looks like... Yep, yep. Tools. Propulsion cannon. So we need an advanced wiring kit, battery, and titanium. To get an advanced wiring kit, we require two gold and a computer chip. Okay, so should be able to do that next episode. Uh, if we hit tab and go into blueprints. Yes. All right, so let's see what we got. And we got a bar table, we know about that. A power transmitter, cool. A vehicle modification station. A pressure comp compensator, okay. Uh, yeah, see, that's the that's the Seamoth uh, that you can get. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't the Seamoth. This is just the... Looks like upgrades for the Seamoth uh, from this vehicle modification station. Uh, power efficiency module. Seamoth solar charger. Storage. Perimeter defense system. Torpedo system. Seamoth sonar. Reinforced hull. Vortex torpedo. A pressure compensator so it looks like you can go a whole lot deeper with these gas torpedo prawn suit thermal reactor so it recharges power cells in hot areas nice uh, the prawn suit jump jet upgrade and the propulsion cannon all right so we've got a whole lot of new stuff uh, today guys now i think what we need to do next episode uh, because we want to get uh, the seamoth going we need a mobile vehicle bay that we need titanium ingots, which I believe I can grab now. Uh, requires 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Resource basic material titanium ingot. So it is a lot of titanium. Um, deployables. Bar, lubricant and a power cell. Now we have the power cell. You know what? Let's just go build that now, and that's how we're going to end the episode. Uh, by making this station. Uh, now, where's our sea glide? Give me that back on number one. Uh, yeah, so we made it back with enough juice in the system. Let's grab some of these. For that sweet, sweet lubricant. Jump back in the station. Uh, this one, the miscellaneous chest. We'll grab this power cell. Use this fabricator to make the lubricant. I think I grabbed four. Nope, I only grabbed three. That's all right. Mobile vehicle bay. Awesome. All right, so we'll jump back in here and we'll chuck that. This takes a while to craft. Choice. All right, so let's chuck that on number one. We'll go out here. Release the vehicle bay. All right, um, I, kind of, I don't know how big things are, so we'll just release it there. That will go to the surface, I believe. It is. That's what it looks like. Click on it. Use the vehicle bay. Vehicles. Seamoth. Ingredients unknown. Alright, so that's what we want to get, guys. Uh, we want to get the Seamoth. I don't know how we're going to get the ingredients for it. But... I'm under the impression we have to explore some more. Uh, I don't know where, because um, I'm under the... I, I do believe that none of this is randomly generated. Uh, I'm under the assumption that all of this is purposefully put. Um, so from the... Uh, those things, the, the life pods that have broken down, um, to all of the... Not so much the titanium or the resources, but the research modules. They are definitely. Uh, so I think that's all for today, guys. Uh, oh, hold on. Technical. Propulsion cannon. Okay, so that's just specifications for these things. 
cool. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you later.